Alright guys, so I pretty much called it. I said that Hardware 4 is not going to be retrofitable in your current vehicles and you guys should hold off until the new car gets announced with new hardware, new radar, new cameras. Now for those of you guys that just went ahead and picked up the car because of the discount in the last few days, unfortunately you're not going to be able to get the Hardware 4 that's going to be implemented into vehicles maybe down the line in about a few weeks now. But for those of you guys that have watched my video and decided to be patient and wait out, props to you because you're going to be getting Hardware 4 in your vehicles. Now during their earnings call yesterday with Elon, he did say that Hardware 4 is on the horizon and it's going to be coming into newer vehicles with the Cybertruck and with the next generation vehicles as well. So that pretty much guarantees at this point that we're going to get the new radar, the new cameras and the new FSD computer. There's nothing else you guys should be waiting for other than this hardware upgrade, mainly because this is going to future proof your vehicle for newer software down the line. As a Model 3 or Model Y owner, you're already missing out on a bunch of features that the Model S and Model X has right now. And of course, it's going to trickle its way down. If you're interested in Steam and the automatic parking and summon, at the moment right now, there is no hardware in place other than to wait for Tesla Vision and other than to wait for a hardware upgrade on the MCU. Now, likely this is going to be all implemented into one pack package in the next version of the Model 3 and Model Y. So if you are waiting to pick up your car before we even talk about anything, put your delivery on hold, keep pushing it until you get confirmation of Hardware 4 and when it's going to be inside of the vehicles. At this point, after hearing Elon confirm that Hardware 4 cannot be upgradable for older vehicles, it definitely pushes me away from all older vehicles purchases at the moment and it should be the same for you guys as well. Honestly, who cares about the discount that they're giving right now because the car is going to drop drastically as soon as Hardware 4 is on newer vehicles. Your car can no longer do all the features that Hardware 4 is able to do. Alright, so what does this mean for Hardware 3 versus Hardware 4? So what the differences are really at the moment is unknown, but we do know that the vehicles are going to get upgraded cameras from 1.2 megapixels to 5 megapixel resolution. So that's going to be an overall clarity for the camera just to pick up the little things like leaves falling on the ground versus a cat versus a dog or a mouse on the streets. In the end, the end goal is to track everything in real life and what's showing on the MCU. So that's going to require a lot of processing power. That's going to require a lot of camera resolution. Definitely the bottleneck is going to be the FSD computer, but that is upgradable. At the moment, they are using two nodes instead of just using one and the other as a fail safe backup. But the other part is that they need a clearer picture of the world and that's definitely going to be something that needs to be upgraded. So going from 1.2 megapixels to 5 megapixels is going to be pretty drastic in in terms of what it's able to see and process and that's going to lead me into the point where you're not going to be able to just simply swap up the camera because first of all the cameras are going to be different according to the recent leaks in china with their internal memo it looks like we are going from three cameras to two cameras but they are upgraded cameras and then there are a bunch of different cameras which were dubbed hardware for as well around the car i'm not going to get into too much detail but trust me there are some changes that you guys will notice i'll drop a link up there as well in the description for you guys to check out if you guys want to know more about those internal leaks but it looks like those as well as the new HD radar is going to be put into newer vehicles now if I can remember correctly when somebody asked Elon a question about hardware 4 and what vehicles it's going to be on if it's going to be on the Cybertruck at first it was pretty hesitant but then eventually he kind of gave us a hint that it's not going to be on the Cybertruck first it's going to be on another vehicle first and this looks to be the new Model 3s or Model Ys Project Highland like another thing that I mentioned in a previous video I'll also drop that in the description below if you guys want to check it out but that shows that they've covered up the front and the rear bumper meaning that they are testing something out up front there uh, it could be a dual radars one at the front and one at the back for a cross traffic or it could just be a totally different design of the model 3 we don't know at the moment but definitely those new hardwares are gonna go into newer vehicles now for those of you guys that own hardware 3 right now don't feel too bad because it doesn't mean that your car is not going to be able to do fsd you guys can see that fsd beta is working perfectly well right now and when asked elon did say that there is no need really to go from hardware 3 to hardware 4 because hardware 3 is still going to be able to do fsd just not at the same confidence as hardware 4 so you're going from two to three hundred percent safer than a human driver versus going from five to six hundred percent on the hardware 4 and of course it's going to be incremental it's going to keep going and going until maybe you're at hardware 10 and the confidence level is just going to keep building and building now to be more specific during the earnings call elon said that it's not economically possible and it's going to be a lot of challenges to offer free retrofits and i think a lot of people took it wrong here they believe that just because it's not free it means that it's going to be a paid retrofit and a lot of older owners 
are wishing that they're able to just upgrade their vehicles if they forked out a little bit of money. I'm gonna say here, I don't think it's gonna be possible because if you're using hardware 2.5 upgrading to hardware 3, you guys know that that's just a simple computer swap to harnesses and everything is pretty much exactly the same. That is not the case for hardware 3 to hardware 4. You're getting new camera sensors, you're getting higher resolution, you're getting new radars, you're getting a bunch of different things that require a lot of data transfer. And on top of that, you're gonna get an upgraded FSD computer, meaning that it's gonna need to transfer a lot more data from the cameras to the FSD computer and in between those are wires. Now, of course, the wires are used for power, but they're also used for data transfer. And at the moment, the wires are pretty slim, pulling in just a certain amount of data to the FSD computer. But when we go to roughly 5x the resolution, you're gonna be needing a larger wire harness and that's gonna be a very difficult task pull every single harness out of your vehicle and get a retrofit in place for you to get the new cameras as well as the new computers. So if you guys think about it, would it make sense for Tesla to have their techs take all their time out just to have this done for your vehicle just because you want the latest and greatest or would they just rather have you buy a brand new vehicle? So unfortunately, I don't think you guys will be able to upgrade. And as I've mentioned in my previous video, like I said, it's best to just hold off if you guys are thinking about taking delivery anytime soon. Or if you guys just have an older car, just enjoy it for now and don't worry about it. Maybe trade it in for hardware 4. But at the moment, just because of the discounts and incentives, you go ahead, you jump for it. Your car is probably gonna drop the same amount as if you just bought the hardware for vehicles brand new in a couple weeks from now. So yeah, take that into consideration and take into consideration that there are 1.6 million vehicles approximately on the road right now that are Teslas. And for techs to replace every single one of the wiring harnesses, the cameras, the radar, pretty much everything. It makes completely no sense. So don't feel too bad right now. Hardware 3 is very capable at the moment. They haven't completely used all the processing power from the Hardware 3 computer. They're likely gonna keep upgrading until the point where it's not possible. And then they'll be using the Hardware 4 computer and processing power to continue the iterations of software until they max that out and they switch to Hardware 5. Now I'm sure in the meantime, a lot of people are gonna be tweeting Elon begging for retrofits and maybe he'll change his mind. The thing with Tesla and Elon is they're always working towards getting everybody on the same build, on the same software, and on the same paths towards FSD. So until I hear anything else, this is pretty much a confirmation that you guys should wait out until Hardware 4 is announced on which vehicle and when. So anyways guys, those are just my thoughts on Hardware 4 and the newer vehicles. I know it's kind of a surprise that Elon went on the call yesterday and just pretty much let everybody know, confirm that there is no Hardware 4 and it was quite shocking and disappointing to everybody out there because they promised that FSD is gonna be upgradable free for every vehicle that was promised and purchased FSD, but it seems like they went back on their words. Like I mentioned in the previous video, as long as FSD is feature complete, meaning that it can do bits of city driving and highway driving, they've pretty much accomplished what they promised you. So the fact that you wanna go out and sue them possibly because it cannot do full self-driving on Hardware 3, I'm pretty sure you're not gonna win that case. So anyways guys, this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any thoughts or comments comments or anything, let me know in the comments below. I'll do a video and maybe I'll give you guys a shout out on the next video. But this is it. This is John. Once again, peace out.